Welcome to Dr. Social Problems. In this video, I would like to answer the question why sexual abuse and show business happened in Japan. In case you are in a hurry, please jump over to the conclusion at the ending scene. Are you ready? Let's start. Recently, powerful entertainment agency Johnny's Entertainment is under fire in Japan. The founder of the agency, Jani Kitagawa, who died about three years ago, sexually abused at least several hundreds of boys who belong to the agency since 1950s. And now, some of the victims who couldn't say anything while he was alive started to raise voices about what exactly Jani Kitagawa did to them. Because of this, the agency had to set up a new leader who mishandled media interview by saying he would like to keep the agency name Johnny's Entertainment after his succession. And now the situation is becoming controversial in which some say he was nice to me and please go to heaven. Others say because he was such a kind person I took a piece of his remains in my pocket to be with him for the rest of my life. While others say, go to hell, Kitagawa, I will follow you to the hell later on, and so forth. The current situation is clearly distracted from what was the main issue to peripheral issues of unsuitable personalities of the new leader, or who liked Kitagawa and who did not like Kitagawa, and so on. If you are interested in this kind of discussions, please click that uh, channel logo in the corner. And now, what indeed should be the main discussions here? As a social pathologist, my stance is unshakable. Why did sexual abuses were allowed to happen with several hundreds of boys for such long decades? And how we could stop similar things from happening in the future. Objectively analyzing Kitagawa's sexual abuse is quintessential fixed type pedophilia in which the perpetrator can be relaxed only with young girls or boys not being able to associate with adults. These pedophiles use friendly approach to young children then manipulate that friendly relationship to extend to sexual misconduct. Johnny Kitagawa is rumored to have victimized only quiet boys because he knew those quiet ones could not say anything about what he would do to their parents. This is a worn-out trick used by fixed-type pedophiles. Then why could this happen for such a long time? The key word is closed and confined circuit. Within a closed circuit or closed society, there's this mentality working in that they should never make waves within the group. People in Japan could easily have such mentality to be silent because Japan is small islands, village, society, isolated, surrounded by seas. So the main characteristics of Japanese mentality is just to be silent, especially in Japan's entertainment business, especially for singing and dancing. Japanese entertainment has the absolute power by which they could say no to they are entertainers doing business with those who say anything against the agency. And also, because Johnny Kitagawa was like a king entertainment business, who is going to be at the center of the group to be successful in the world? He used this absolute authority. Some say most of the successful male entertainers in that agency had sexual relationship with Kitagawa and it was unspoken secret that having a sexual relationship with Kitagawa is the key to be successful in that business. One victim who is now his 40s say 
all he had about Kitagawa was fear. So, in a nutshell, although in this age of diversified values in which each individual has different opinions, we should never get distracted from the core of the issue. In this Japanese society of closed mentality, nobody could say anything to powerful Kitagawa. One possible measure should be to set up third-party institution with which those who are victimized can talk without being afraid of getting noticed by the agency. And there must be some law which protects the rights of the victims who are sexually abused or physically abused. Unless society establishing independent organization who can fight against the powerful organizations, this type of problem could continue to happen in a society like Japan, in which people cannot openly say their true voices like in America. Thank you very much. I am always appreciating your support by subscriptions and likes, which has been keeping me going, literally. Okay, please have a peaceful night wherever you are watching this video. Until next video. Okay, bye-bye.